Pigeon. Uh, first item on the list is the esophagus. Since it follows the mouth, the esophagus is here. This section is the esophagus. Below it is the crop. This section here that has been opened up, this is the crop. Normally, it should be covered up like so. The crop then leads down to the proventriculus, which leads to the stomach. Is it proventriculus? It's this structure right here that can be found above the heart. Okay. The gizzard is down this way, underneath the right side of the liver. The gizzard is this hard structure here. This is the gizzard. Oops. <laughs> this is the gizzard. Hard structure. The intestines are these here. These are the intestines. The liver are these sections here. Hold on. What's the heart? The liver is this dark section here on both sides. Removing the liver. Pancreas is located in between the lobe of the small intestine. This is the pancreas. Cloaca is the bottom of the bird. It's the opening that is here. It leads to the inside. It's cloaca. It is simultaneously the anus and the sex organ. When birds make babies, they rub their cloacas together. Kidneys. Kidneys are in the back of the bird, against the back of the rib cage. This is the uh, bird's left kidney, and this is the right kidney. Atria and ventricle. Looking at the heart, looking at the heart, we can see, by splitting it open, we can see the atria which is the dark sections, and the ventricles, which is the light colored sections. Pigeon is a four-chambered heart. The lungs can be found by following the, um, help me out here. Uh, trachea. Esophagus. The trachea. Mm -hmm. Following the trachea. Splits left and right to the lung. Here is one lung. It's right here. The other is on the other side. This is the lung. Can you lift it? This whole section that's moving is the lung. Air sac. Um, can't see it now, but the air sac was a small membrane, which is part of this. It's part of this membrane that was in this section right here. Did you ever see it filled? Uh, the bird was dead. So what when about I the pulled other side? on it, when I pulled on it, you could see that there was a cavity. On the what about the other side? On the other bird, on the other table, you can see this much better. The other side is identical, ish. I mean, is our other side intact? No, it, we've already opened this up quite a bit. But there you see the other lung, and the remnants of the air sac. Okay. This pigeon is a boy, so it has testes. And the testes are here, the light colored objects, left and right, two testes. In, in the female pigeon, you only have uh, one set of ovaries. Let's go over there, keep recording. <laughs> this being the other bird, we can see, we can see this mass as the ovaries. Underneath it, the oviduct, leading to the cloaca. Can you locate those air sacs that we... The air sacs oh. are here, near the lungs beneath air sacs.